Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, uh, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world, the evil mindset of this world, with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to look at the Old Testament uh, book of Proverbs, book of wisdom, Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 through 19. And it says, uh, There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Uh, Haughty eyes, that's, you know, pride. Uh, a lying tongue, and we just uh, talked about lying in the previous uh, uh, section there. Hands that shed innocent blood. Uh, a heart that devises wicked plans. Feet that make haste to run to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies. And one who soars discord among the brothers. Um, are you involved in any of these things? I hope that you're not. But uh, you see here that uh, uh, Solomon here is is listing a number of uh, different things that people are involved in that God hates. He hates sin. And uh, this is a, a list of common sins. And uh, this is considered abomination uh, to uh, God if we're involved in these things. Uh, haughty eyes, that means looking down upon people, um, you know, feeling prideful about yourself. Of course, a lying tongue. God wants us to be truthful. If we have difficulty being truthful, then we need to be born again, and we need to have the Holy Spirit working in us to uh, give us a truthful attitude and a truthful mind. And a lot of times, uh, you know, Satan wants us to believe lies. And uh, if we don't uh, know what the truth is, if we don't know what the Bible is, uh, then uh, we don't have a way to discern what's lies and what's truth. Um, hands that shed innocent blood. Um, you know, it's talking about violence. And we're seeing here on uh, some of the social media sites all these uh, fight scenes where uh, usually uh, it's usually a white... A uh, teenager is being beaten up uh, by usually female uh, teenagers being beaten up and just, uh, uh, you know, absolute physical abuse. Um, and it's that's that's you know, because uh, the hatred that comes from Satan is in, in those people and uh, says a heart that devises wicked plans. You know, if you de decide that you're going to shoplift in a store, that's a wicked plan because you're stealing. And uh, you're uh, making life more difficult and more expensive for other people. Or you're causing stores to close. You're taking things that are, are not yours. And um, feet that make haste to run to evil. Uh, whenever you, uh, you know have something that uh, you're going to do is evil and you run toward that God hates that and then a false uh, witness uh, you know if you're lying about other people or lying about what you've been involved in and then sowing discord causing trouble um, God hates all of these things you might say John I know lots of people that do these things and uh, how do I get away uh, from this? I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to be uh, hated by God. Well, God uh, doesn't necessarily hate you as a per person, but he does hate uh, your behavior if you're doing these things. Then you need to turn to God, turn toward Jesus Christ, and believe on him, and be born again. And... Uh, have uh, Jesus Christ living in your heart and in your life and uh, allow him to recreate who you are from the inside out and also getting into the Bible getting into the Word of God a lot of times people behave this way because they've never studied on what they're supposed to be doing to do right in this world and whenever uh, you know it makes God happy and we do things that lift him up and worship him and then we do things to help our fellow man, not try to destroy, not try to uh, 
and make life difficult for others. Not try to get selfish gain, uh, but uh, allow, you know, turning to God, asking Him, uh, you know, to help provide our needs, and then allowing us to opportunities uh, to where we can work and where we can earn those things that we need in life. And uh, I pray that you, if you're caught up in a lifestyle of evil, then these are from Satan himself. And we don't want to live like this. We want to live with a life that is ordained by God, controlled by God. You don't have to be controlled by the devil any longer. When you turn your life over to Jesus Christ. This is John with the light of the scripture encouraging you to get deep into the word of God and let the word of God get deep into you.